Hello everybody, so in this video, you're gonna learn how to get iris shaders on Minecraft 1.21.4, which will let you use shaders and sodium features for Minecraft. Take it away! So, uh, what you're gonna wanna do is go over to your browser of choice. It can be, well, any browser of choice. And I'm just gonna type in iris shaders into the search bar right over here. And you will see irisshaders.dev. You're just going to want to click this. Then uh, you'll have this page. It will have a bunch of info. You can read about what it does, what are the features are, and everything. But we don't really care about that. All we care about is the download button. So we click on download now. And we click download universal jar. So now you'll have uh, this in your downloads folder. If it doesn't have this Java icon, that means you don't have Java for Windows. So you need to get Java for Windows. That's a, a really simple process. I already have Java, so I'm not really going to go over it. But it's just, you go over to this. You just go over here, you click download Java, and you go through, you know, the process. So that's that. Now... What does Iris Shaders do on its own? It doesn't really do anything. You're gonna need shaders to be able to use Iris Shaders. So, let's get some shaders. I'm just gonna go over to ModRenf. Right up here, top result, ModRenf.com. And uh, what we're gonna do here is discover content, shaders, and we're just gonna take one of the top results i'm gonna take makeup ultra fast so we're just gonna go over to the versions tab and we're just gonna click download right over here and now that the shader is uh, done downloading you are free to close your browser as you no longer need it and now i'm just gonna go over to the file explorer go over to the downloads folder or whichever folder you use as your downloads folder and you'll have iris installer and makeup ultra fast or whichever shader you want to go with here i'm just gonna run the iris installer very simple you just click open assuming you have java as stated earlier so here you just click iris plus fabric and you just click install you can also select a game version but that doesn't really matter in our case and there you go it is now completed you you can just close the installer and now you can right click it and press delete and you can close this file explorer window for now now i'm gonna open up the minecraft launcher itself we need to wait for this thing to open. So once you are in the game, you'll see Fabric Loader 1.21.4. And all you need to do here is just uh, go over to play and just launch the game. I understand the risks and play. So once you're in the game, you'll see Minecraft 1.21.4 Fabric modded, which means that it worked. So here, very simple. You just click over on options. You click video settings. You click shader packs. And uh, you'll have this open shader pack folder. You just click that and it will take you to your shader pack folder. You'll see that the folder is empty, obviously, since you haven't put anything inside of the folder. So... Uh, you just click go back to your downloads folder uh then you're gonna right click your makeup ultra fast and you're gonna click cut 
then you can use this back arrow to go right back to shader packs and you can just press paste and now it's here and it's also no longer in the downloads folder now you can close file explorer again you no longer need it and if you go over here you can see if you enable shader packs that makeup ultra fast is now here And now you just click this and click apply and there we go makeup ultra fast has now been applied so once you go into a world it will now just have this new makeup ultra fast shader applied on top of it we just wait for the world to load And, as you can see, we now have a Minecraft that looks a lot better. We now have some really cool god rays, or as it's actually called, volumetric lighting. And, uh, yeah, I'd say this looks a lot better, and it's a lot, it just gives a nice visual rehaul to the game without actually changing any of the base textures. It's a really cool, it's a really cool thing to have in a game, being able to pick and choose what the game actually looks like on a very deep level is really cool. You can see the sun's really bright, the sky is also different, and you even have somewhat uh, realistic uh, camera effects. This is obviously the low version of the shader, it can, go, it can get really extreme, but this is just the low version of that shader and uh yeah in today's video i showed you how to get iris shaders and how to use iris shaders for minecraft version 1.21.4 if you want to see more videos just like this one or if you have some suggestions for videos like this one for example if you're struggling with downloading something or struggling with a thing in minecraft don't forget just leave it in the comments honestly we'll probably do it and uh, yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on notifications for more videos just like this one. And uh, yeah, bye.